If you're currently on the Moto G Stylus 2023, you need to watch this video because I'm going to show you the most important tips and tricks. And this is Variety Stick. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't. Give me a thumbs up. And without any further ado, let's find out. Tip number one, I'm going to show you how to use the phone only in one hand. In other words, we're going to shrink the screen. First, you need to go to the settings, which is the gear icon. From the settings, you need to go to gestures, and then you need to go to one-hand mode or one-handed mode. It should be right there. Scroll down, enable the one-handed mode shortcut, and you must get a little shortcut right there. Now, by tapping on this shortcut, automatically the screen will be shrinked and you should be able to use your phone only in one hand because we're making the screen way smaller where you can navigate and use in one hand. Now, if you want to go back, just click on the same button and that should bring the screen back to normal. Now, tip number two, I'm going to show you how you enable the double tap on the phone. In other words, if you double tap on the screen, the screen go to sleep mode or you turn off the screen. Same thing if you do, if you double tap, also you're going to wake the screen. How you do this? Simply go to settings. Also, you have to go to gestures. And you're going to see two options. The first one, put display to sleep. Go ahead and enable this feature. And then go back and go to wake the display and also make sure to tap on display now by enabling this option you will be able just by double tap to turn the screen off and if you want to unlock the screen also double tap on the screen but I realize sometimes it doesn't work from the first time tip number three split screen in other words you can have two applications at the same time and this will be done in two different ways let me show you both ways how you do it for instance if we're gonna run the YouTube and I want another application so I have to open YouTube app then go to the key where it take you to the recent which is the square button and tap on the icon in the top and choose split tab and then choose the other application you want to be with YouTube and we should have two applications at the same time. If I want to close, I have just to swipe down and then should me take me to the one application. Also, you can do the same thing using gestures. All you have to do, go to the settings because we need to enable this feature from the phone and go to gesture. And then you need to go to swipe to split and then enable this feature. So what you have to do now when you open YouTube, for example, you have to do certain gesture. And this gesture, you have to go from the left, go to the right, and swap back. Just like this. And that should also give me the option to open another application. For instance, I'm going to open the photo application, and then I have the photo. I have YouTube at the same time. Tip number four, I'm going to show you how you launch the camera by only double tap twice on the power key. First, you need to enable this option. You have also to go to settings and then you have to go to gestures and then go to double press power key and it has to be enabled as launch camera. After you do this, go to your phone, you can lock the screen and then you can double tap on the power and that should launch the camera. Tip number five, how you turn the phone off by clicking only on the power key. Now, if you go to your Moto Stylus, if you want to use the power key, press and hold, the phone will go to Google Assistance. And this is very annoying. You have to go press two keys together, which is the volume up and the power to turn the phone off or restart the phone. I'm going to show you how to disable Google Assistant from the power key where you can just by pressing only on the power key you should be able to turn the phone off or restart the phone. Go to the settings and then go to gestures and then you have to go to press hold power button and then disable hold for assistance. Now after you do this if you go press only on the power the phone should give you the option for restart and power off easily without the need to press two keys together. Tip number six, pick up to silent. In other words, if you pick up the phone from the table, for instance, the phone will be silent if the phone was ringing. Now let me explain to you how you enable this feature and then you can pick up the phone and the phone will go automatically to silence or mute. Go to settings, go to gestures, 
and then go to the feature where it says pick up to silence and enable this feature from now on when your phone ring once you grab the phone the phone will be automatically silenced tip number seven flip for don't disturb in other words if you're using your phone just like this and you lay the phone on the table somebody call you or somebody send you a text message the phone will make noise now by enabling this feature all you have to do flip your phone on the screen and the phone will go automatically to don't disturb mode by itself and let me show you how you enable this feature go to the settings and then go to gestures and go flip to DND &D and enable this feature and the phone automatically once you flip the phone on the screen the phone automatically go to don't disturb mode and this will be useful for people do office work they don't want to get phone calls they all they have to do put the phone on the screen tip number eight fast flash Motorola offer gestures for a flash for example if you just shake the phone the flash will turn on if you shake it again the flash will turn off and instead of going to the quick toggles and enable the flash or go to the camera I believe this will be way useful tip number nine twist to open the camera in other words if you have your moto phone and you want to open the camera quick as possible just twist the phone the phone will automatically open the camera now if you want to go to the front facing camera all you have to do twist one more time and the phone will flip to the front facing camera tip number 10 i'm going to show you three different ways to take a screen shot the first one will be the classical way all you have to do press at the same time power and volume down and the phone should take screenshot as you guys can see now i'm going to show you another unique way how you take screenshot go first to settings and also go to gestures and then go to a three finger screenshot you must enable this feature first and all you have to do put the three fingers on the screen or where you want to take the screenshot and automatically the phone will take that screenshot also you can use the stylus pen to take a screenshot and let me show you how you do it as you know this is a stylus phone has a stylus so once you take the stylus out of the phone you're gonna get this menu then you have to go where you want to take the screenshot and go to this icon and tab and the phone automatically gonna take that screen shot tip number 11 quick screen record Motorola has a pre-installed application it's part of the phone where you can record the screen without the need for third-party application and let me show you how you use this feature go to the top for the quick toggles right there and swap till you see a screen record go ahead and tap on screen record and then you're gonna get message that the phone will start recording hit on start and then all you have to do wait a few seconds and the phone automatically gonna start record the screen as you guys can see so you can play video games you can record certain application once you're done you click on the stop key and the video automatically will be saved in your gallery tip number 12 and the last step for today's video taking a note even if the screen is locked by using the stylus and let me show you maybe a lot of people don't know this now if your screen is locked all you have to do take the stylus out and immediately you can start taking notes in your stylo device and that was very much it for that video let me know if you own the Moto G stylus and you knew these steps before and thank you so much for watching as always guys encourage me give me thumbs up thank you so much for watching and we will talk to you in the next video let's go yeah I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit If it moves, gotta grab it Fuse like a magnet, lose won't have it Till I'm doomed in a casket I ain't playing, gotta